Hello, this is Bill Morgan, president from Parker University, and with me today is Nathan Hinkledye. So we're going to talk a little bit about pain, nocebo, and placebo. So Sounds good. How does that affect chiropractors? How's that, why is that important to us? So the biggest thing, Doc, is, is that with placebo, nocebo, and pain, it's all about the messaging and, mm -hmm. and instilling the expectation to patients that they're going to improve and removing the things that maybe hinder them from getting out. So it's that thoughts aspect mm -hmm. of what we do. So when I show somebody their x-ray and I tell them there's a degenerative disc here and this is, their spurs is big, big enough to hang your hat on, how does that affect their care? So when you're amplifying those types of things, it brings a lot of fear to the patient and it brings a lot of anxiety related to the fact, oh shoot, I have that, now I'm breaking down and my spine is basically dismantling instead of empowering them to movement, which mm -hmm. you know, with Parker and the Parker Fit motto, that's really where we're going is how do we get these people up, how do we get them active and how do we get them moving? So a lot of, lot of discussion about should we take x-rays, should we not take x-rays, should we look at functional assessment? What's your opinion on those things? You know, I think that the provider needs their autonomy. So, I mean, if you need an x-ray, go ahead and shoot it. Uh, but more so on the functional end of things is really, there's a lot of nice things that allow us to instill and empower patients. If we're gonna take an x-ray, it's really important just to sit down and educate them mm -hmm. on the fact that, you know, what is degeneration? What is a disc herniation? And does it even impact them? Because the exam is really where that will show us where that's at. Exactly. Now, I, I know from studies that, that the sooner you take an x-ray or an MRI, the worse the outcome is for the patient. And if you showed them the images, there's even a worse outcome for, their, for them. But also, but on the other side of it, their, their patient satisfaction's raised, but their feeling of fragility is also raised, so. Yeah, and I think part of that is is the message that you can convey to the patient. If you're gonna take it, understand why and make sure the patient knows that. And if you're not, you can mitigate some of that anxiety related to their satisfaction by letting them know that, you know, overall your exam is showing that it, it is a joint issue or it is a muscle issue and that your certainty is very high. So evaluation, the examination is king? Yeah, absolutely. And functional assessment. Do you like functional assessments? I love functional assessments. Yeah, Parker does too. We just we, we're we're joining up with the technology. We have Parker Fit 3D, which is a, a computerized functional assessment. So we're really going into it and a, analyzing that. And some of the things you'll do is like you know, we have them squat and do different motions. And you might have the person. It looks like their pelvis is all distorted, but it actually turns out they've got they've lost dorsiflexion in their ankle. So adjust their ankle. And, and, we're, we, and the, the rest of the adjustments hold. That's awesome. Well, anyway, thank you for coming to Parker Seminars. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks.